Katie, thanks a lot. By the time they hit about 13, most teenagers have already started to diet and they're worrying about their weight. And that fixation with being thin can cross into something a whole lot more serious. But how do you know what to watch for as a parent? The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here to talk about eating disorders. Good, good morning. And good morning, Ron. And good morning, Gervier. And you know, when we talk about the teen and the tween years, mm -hmm. those are tricky for everyone, especially for young women who feel like they may not measure up. And for Leighton Jordan, that cycle of dieting and binging and then purging began when she was 12 years old. First as a way to get the perfect ballet body, then as a way not to be perfect, but pretty soon that thing that gave her a sense of control had control. 20-year-old Leighton Jordan, the current Miss Georgia, says she spent eight years of her life struggling with an eating disorder. First anorexia and then bulimia. I, for so many years, thought that, oh, this will just go away one day. I'll wake up one day and it'll be gone. And finally, when I stopped living in denial, I realized, no, it's not just going to be gone. I'm going to have to put a lot of hard work into getting my life back. Last fall, Jordan began getting treatment here at the Atlanta Center for Eating Disorders, where her therapist, Dr. Linda Buchanan, knows all the red flags to look for. She says, watch for a change in your teen's personality or friends or grades, going to the bathroom after meals, and a fixation with food, even as they're eating less and less. Because if, as you eat less, your body does try to get you to think about food more because it's trying to motivate you to find food, so you do become more focused and obsessed with food. And Dr. Buchanan says teens often get caught in a cycle of restricting and then overeating. What generally happens is after a while of undereating, a person can't help but binge. The body is forcing that. And like Leighton, a lot of teenagers who struggle with eating disorders are overachievers. And Buchanan says the disorder becomes sort of a faulty way of controlling and coping with life. They can get stuck in such a vicious cycle of they keep trying to make up for the mistake of the past behavior and all that does is lead to the next behavior. Like, I, I shouldn't have purged so I just won't eat all day tomorrow. And another red flag maybe that your teen is making excuses to eat alone or avoiding social situations that might involve food, or he or she may be really fearful about gaining weight or being perceived as heavy. And doctors don't really know what causes eating disorders, but they believe that some people may be hardwired from birth to be more vulnerable to them. And you can read more about the warning signs. We're going to have a link to a lot of resources here locally on myfoxatlanta.com. Just click on the health bar. And Ron and Gavir, it can be really long lost feeling to be a parent watching your child go through this. Well, if you think your child might have a problem with the eating disorder, how do you bring it up to them? How do you talk about it? Well, I asked that to Dr. Buchanan and she said, you know, she felt like just bring it up sort of as an open-ended question, not a judgmental thing, just saying, here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that you're not eating. Talk to me about that. You know, you may get pushback, but the, the girl or the boy might actually be a little relieved that somebody's mm -hmm. finally clear in the air and talking about what's and going that, on. That line of communication may help with their own self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that and just that. really know as a parent you're not alone. There are resources out yeah. there. There are good groups that will help you right here locally. Very good. Beth, thank you thank very you much. Dad. Great advice, by the way.